So I guess just to be able to, in order to, before I answer that, I want to tell you where I'm coming from to, to the true core of who I am, not just as a practitioner, but as an Indigenous woman as well. And um, I find working within an institution, because um, I work in a post-secondary institution, which of course we all know is historically a very colonial place, um, often we have to think of things from different lenses. And, um, and, and when working with, with my clients, I find I'm always trying to ha uh, have very lenses I'm looking at them from from different points of view and I think that really even though that's really the essence of why we're here is that we're appreciating the the experiences of our clients as a whole um, as an indigenous person um, there's, there's a teaching about that and it's called the two-eyed seeing and essentially what it means is that it's allowing us to be able to look at the strengths from an indigenous point of view, as well as the strengths from a Western point of view. And I think why that's so important is because it allows all of us to be able to benefit, regardless of, of, of what lens you're looking at, you're, there's still that appreciation for those different point of view. So when we're looking at what does a sacred space mean from those lenses, uh, with a westernized lens, we're thinking about it in terms of our clinical practice. We're thinking about how we maintain confidentiality, our ethical obligations to our clients, um, how we're taking care of ourselves, and how we're ensuring that uh, we're using evidence-based practices to be able to work with our clients and implement those techniques. Um, and even just the way we're building rapport with clients. Um, but from an indigenous point of view, we're, we're, we're looking at that in more of a holistic way of, of looking at things. And I'm talking about the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects of that client. And I think the, why that's so important is because it really speaks to not only how everything is interconnected, not just with, with ourselves, but with our communities, our families, and even all beings. Um, we're, by being able to provide a sacred space, we're trying to find the balance when all, with all of that. Um, so I guess just going back to that, um, and if, again, this is assuming if our clients are there, spirituality essentially is an essential piece that unfortunately is overlooked within the Western institutions. Um, but we need to walk beside them with where our clients at. And if that's the where our clients need to go, that's where they need to go. And our job is to walk right beside them. Um, unfortunately, especially with indigenous peoples, because our people have literally that had the, the spirituality beaten out of them um, or even shamed out of it. So we need to be able to draw strength from that spirituality through our connections with the creator, with the land, um, and with all of our relations, all of those beings that exist in this universe. Because when it comes down to it, we're all forces in this universe. We're all connected. And um, so really to go back to just to kind of, I always like to circle it around to where I'm coming from is um, when we're looking at it in, with multiple lenses, and really for, with the two-eyed seeing, we have to be able to appreciate that wholeness. So I guess what I'm trying to offer to that answer is, to, is just a different perspective on what it means to be a holistic practitioner.